Let's stay with tasks a little bit longer. We now know how to make priorities and let's see today how we can correlate or group different tasks based on a specific context together using tags. In org mode, tags can be attached to any headline. This doesn't have to be a task headline, a to-do headline. In order to assign a tag to a headline, in Doom, you press space MQ, which triggers the org set tags command. And now we can attach, we can just write your tags name, let's say personal. If you repeat this command, space MQ, now this task is being displayed below, so you can just press enter and it will be attached, assigned to this headline right away. Let's go up here to the chapter 3 and let's assign a tag called organized. Each headline can have multiple tags. So for example here we can attach another one using the same command. As you go along the buffer here once you press the space MQ command is being filled with all the tags you've already entered so you don't have to type them you can just start typing and press enter to select your tag. There is also a way to define tags globally, but I will cover that in a future episode. We now know how to assign tags to headlines. Let's see what we can do with them, how we can search our task or our headlines using tags. So the first way to search is using the org agenda. So you can just press space O for open, A for agenda, and in the previous episode, we talked about the T command, to-do list, but there is also the M command, which is the tax search. So if you press that, you now see all your tags that are defined in this buffer. And let's select fun. It's very similar to priorities, the way we search for priorities or for tasks, but now it's based on tax. So it says that you can press meta X universal argument and R, so in Doom, you can just press space U and then R and we can search again. So let's say personal and this way we are matching the two to-do headlines that are marked with that tag. What's interesting in org mode is that, that the tags can be inherit. So this chapter 3 is marked as organized using the organized tag, which means that all those headlines and in our case, all those to-do headlines are also marked with the organized tag implicitly, which means that this tag is, is not displayed here. But if we search for organized, it will display all those tasks in our search buffer. So let's give it a try. So I press space OA and then M and I select organize. As you can see, I have all my tasks along with the upper level headline. And as you can see on the right, here you can explicitly see that all those headlines are marked with the organized as they inherit this tag from their ancestor, which is the chapter 3 getting organized headline. So that's a one way of searching using the org agenda. But there is also this concept of the sparse tree in Emacs. So we can invoke this search using the org sparse tree and then you select M. And this way it reorganizes your current buffer to only display the headlines with the given tag. So if you press tab here and again, it will get back to normal. So it's no longer a sparse tree. Let's try again. Org sparse tree, M, let's say fun. And I see only the structure, the necessary structure that displays only the headlines that are marked with the given tag along how this headline is placed in the structure of our org document. And then I press tab two times and I'm getting back to the default view where all headlines are being displayed. So in my config, I assigned this function to space slash s. You just press space slash s for sparse tree and then m. And again, it displays only the organized headlines. But there's even another function which allows you to remove one keystroke so you can go directly to the match. So here, if we type 
space slash s we have to press m but there is another function called org tag sparse tree which takes us to the match uh, function directly so in order to make it more convenient i bound this to the space slash t which is create sparse tree for tags and it goes directly to this view those two bindings are not available by default in doom so you need to create them on your own otherwise you have to type the name of the function directly today we just covered the basics of tags but there is much more to it and we will discuss it in the future episodes thanks for watching may the emacs force be with you before you go i would like to invite you to my newsletter i'm not very active on social media and i think email is the best way to communicate so if you'd like to stay up to date i will be sending one email per week friday evening with all the materials we did during that week and some additional ones as well tips and tricks articles if you're interested it'd be great to have you see you next time